with the holiday season in full effect and Christmas on the way, I thought I'd go ahead and watch a movie to put me in this holiday spirit. And what better movie could I possibly choose than The Lobster? Now wait just a second, you say. The Lobster? I don't know that that qualifies as a good holiday movie. And to that I say, yeah, well, you're probably right. But <laughs> this was a movie that was requested by a uh, Patreon supporter, so I really appreciate that. And I'd heard some things here or there about this movie. Um, it certainly sounded like it would it would either work for you or it doesn't. Most people either like it or hate it. It's it's there's never any middle ground there. So I thought I'd check it out. And with the title like the Lobster, I really wasn't sure what I was getting myself in for. Turns out there's a bit to this movie. Now let's go ahead and get this out of the way. This is a strange film. It is. I get what it's doing though. The whole thing is that it takes the tropes and expectations of modern day relationships and basically does a satire about them. I mean, you have this hotel that where you uh, single people rather go, lunar humans go, and they're supposed to uh, connect with each other based off of like one characteristic that they share in common, right? And they're supposed to do that within a, a time frame of 45 days or else they get turned into an animal, which I thought the animal thing was kind of interesting. This actually sometimes leads to uh, people, as you would imagine, kind of going through deception and suppressing their real feelings and, and acting like they share a commonality, even if they don't, so that they are able to garner a relationship uh, you know, uh, as, as a means to uh, address this, right, that they have to do. So you have that. And on the flip side, there's actually a group of people that live in the woods, the single people, and from there, it's like the complete opposite because flirting is punished by physical uh, mutilation. So very uh, polar ends of the spectrum there. And the delivery of the lines in this movie well, frankly, they're very stiff, and they're supposed to be stiff. They're supposed to be just kind of mechanical in nature, I think, uh, because it kind of plays emphasis on the absurdity of this entire situation that's taking place, and ironically, it makes for some nice moments. Um, so you have this kind of interesting thing taking place within this dystopian society, and I like the idea, the concept of it. I like the idea of, of doing a satire of, upon how people kind of view relationships and go for relationships today, whether it be online or kind of the blind dates in person and how you act outside of who you are just so that you can kind of gear into a relationship. And there are, like, it separates them as two different types of people. There are the couples that stay together and the loners, if you will, uh, the single people that stay together so that when they're trying to cross into the other you end up you know kind of losing bonds that way so i thought all of that was very interest interesting um and it certainly had a unique you know it had the unique approach for a movie to kind of do that kind of satire on it so kind of in a way kudos for that because it, again very interesting and there's some moments for sure that were very, you know, they, they were funny, they were humorous, and I think the deadpan delivery kind of helped in that. So, what I that's about the best I can say for it. I, I'm gonna say that it's for me, it's much too long. It's an hour and 59 minutes, one minute shy of being two hours. And you can tell I was more in like more in tune to the first half of the, of the film than I was uh, the second half of the film. The second half of the film just kind of lost me in many uh, ways. Once they kind of dwelled outside of the hotel, it kind of lost a little bit of my interest. I just think it was a little overly too long. It, it definitely pushed the message through. I got, I mean, I got the message near the beginning, so it, it kind of overstayed its welcome, welcome a little bit. And, uh, you know, I, I can see how this definitely wouldn't uh geared towards many people it's not it is one of those films where i can i can definitely see uh that people are divided on it it's even myself talking about it now i'm 
very divided on the way that I feel about it because while I appreciate the concept and I definitely appreciate some of the execution and again the satire I think was um, much on point especially with you know this whole idea of of finding love based purely based on one specific characteristic or another (laughs) or what have you I I found all that uh, interesting and the ending itself is kind of ambiguous and kind of tense because uh, it kind of it, it doesn't it leaves it more or less open ended to where you have to just kind of interpret it as you will um, so there's definitely that to it I thought the score for the most part flowed well through the movie there were I, I definitely like some of the melodies uh, kind of the the uh, opera type of melodies that played throughout but there were times where it took me out of the scene because they were a little too high pitched so I wasn't really sh- again this is kind of a mixed bag of a movie I can't say the performance is overall bad I think the characters kind of deliver what they're supposed to deliver so in terms of that you know they're fine but I can also safely say that um this was a movie that I probably wouldn't watch again. So what was an interesting take and everything? Uh, again, it kind of falls off for me uh, near the last half of the movie, which is funny because that's when I guess things start gearing more towards the point in the overall story, whereas the beginning was more of the setup. But I was more, and I was more interested in the setup than I was in the overall conclusion of it. So giving this a rating one through ten, I'm actually going to go in the middle of the road here and give it a five out of ten. But that is my opinion on it. Have you guys seen this movie? Uh, you know, it's it's definitely a, not a holiday movie, really. But it's an interesting movie, interesting concept and ideas. And I like the, I do like, you know, some of the ways that they were presented. Um, the the only part that really escapes me is the inclusion of turning into an animal. So I'm I'm not entirely sure where that fits within the structure of what they're trying to tell. So if you can explain that to me, I'd appreciate that. Um, but hopefully you and guys enjoyed this video, and if so, click that like button, share, subscribe to my channel, and watch my other vids. I do appreciate it. And if you want to be a Patreon supporter and help me out with my channel, go ahead and click down in the link below. Uh, no matter how big or how small of the contribution that you make, it is much appreciated. And there are reviews, specific review requests that I will take from time to time from people that uh to participate in that and it just helps me be able to see these other movies and everything because as you probably know I'm a big movie fan and so I really like doing that and getting my opinion across and hopefully making these good videos for you so with that being said like I said uh, hopefully you enjoy this review and until next time peace